It's a great day in sports analytics. I'm Victor Holman, sports analytics expert, and welcome to the Sports Analytics 3-Minute Drill, where we break down sports analytics methods and explain how they're being used in sports today. Today, we're going to discuss statistical prediction models and the NHL research conducted by Michael E. Shuckers. So let's begin. Predictive modeling uses statistics to predict outcomes. Most often, the event one wants to predict is in the future, but predictive modeling can be applied to any type of unknown event, regardless of when it occurred. For example, predictive models are often used to detect patterns after the game has taken place. In many cases, the model is chosen on the basis of detection theory to try to guess the probability of an outcome given a set amount of input data. Every year, NHL general managers need to decide who they will choose in the draft. A statistical model is built to rank players as to how they should be chosen in the draft. The model included height, weight, statistics regarding points per game, and goals against average, and ranking from the Central Scouting Service. When looking at the future performance of the draftees, it was determined that the model did a better job at ranking the draftees than the general managers did. For this statistical prediction model, data was collected for two different groups. The first group consisted of 1,398 players that were eligible for the draft from 1998 to 2002. The second group consisted of 1,863 players eligible for the draft from 2003 to 2008. The first group was chosen so that statistics could be gathered from their professional careers. The second group was chosen to test the model built from the first group. Information was gathered from the year prior to the eligibility for the draft. Information gathered included height, weight, birth date, league played in prior to their eligibility, numbers of games played, points scored, goals against average, and the CSS player ranking. The players' first seven years in the NHL were then analyzed based on the number of games played and their time on ice. Using games played and time on ice as indicators allows comparisons to be made across all positions, other than just goaltenders. Therefore, there is not any bias towards any particular position. Results from the actual draftees versus those chosen by the model were compared from two different years, 2007 and 2008. Those drafted in 2007 by the NHL had a correlation of 0.547 in regards to time on ice and 0.547 regarding games played in the NHL. The highest correlation possible is 1, so the higher the correlation, the better. Those drafted by the model had a correlation of 0.667 and 0.670 in those same areas. Players drafted by the NHL in 2008 had a correlation of 0.553 regarding time on ice in the NHL and 0.557 regarding games played. Those drafted by the model were again correlated more highly at 0.670 and 0.655. The model consistently demonstrates that it does a better job than NHL general managers of choosing which players to draft. This model gives analysts data against which to compare their own choices for the drafts as well as those made by the NHL teams. It would provide a catalyst for talks regarding the need to change how these decisions are made. Clearly, at the time of this research, NHL general managers needed to take a closer look at how they were choosing their draftees. More care needed to be taken that all factors that related to future performance were taken into account. I'm assuming managers now use a model like this one to help them in the process. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope you found it informative. If you'd like to learn about a groundbreaking approach for leveraging analytics to get players to execute team strategy, check out my Agile Sports Analytics framework, software, and mobile app. If you'd like to know how your team or sports organization can leverage analytics across the seven key maturity areas and 26 best practices, check out my sports analytics maturity model and take the free comprehensive sports analytics maturity assessment. To learn more about this and 150 different sports analytic methods, purchase my book, Sports Analytics from A to Z, available on Amazon. 
And if you need help developing analytic models that create a competitive edge, contact me for a free consultation at www.agilesportsanalytics.com or call me at 888-861-8733.